Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to teach you how to use a TomTom Tom XL or TomTom Tom One XL GPS unit. So this is the GPS I'm talking about and uh, this is the back. No route planned. That's how the back looks like and I'm going to uh, show you different features, functionalities, and how to use this GPS most efficiently. All right. So the first thing we need to know is the mounting mechanism. How do you mount this? The original mounting mechanism that comes with this looks like this. Uh, Basically, the way the original one is designed is that you snap this here and uh, you basically, this is the suction cup and the way it works is you let it sit on the windshield of the vehicle and then you twist it to the lock position where you see the lock and it snaps in there. So this is how it's designed. Now there's an alternative method of mounting this which I think is probably much more secure and safer uh, which is an aftermarket version and that looks like this now the way this mounts it's simple you undo the original factory mount and this one the aftermarket one which is a lot more secure and easy to operate uh, it snaps in just like the other one and you put this in the windshield and snap this to position and it locks in so that's how the alternative version works okay so now let's see how to operate this so I'm going to use this one to mount it so let's mount this first this is uh, same as your vehicle windshield you have to apply pressure as you twist and there it is it's pretty secure And we're going to mount this here. Okay. Now this is appears to be a little loose, but it, I guess that's how it is. Okay. Now I'm going to put the power cord. I don't want the battery to die on me in the middle of the tutorial. So when the lights on we know that the connection is good and let's snap this in. Okay. All right. So let's see how to use this. First, when you get this, it's good to do a factory reset and customize the GPS unit the way you want it. This is how you do a factory reset. Click here, change preferences, hit the right arrow button several times. Oops, I think I passed it. There. And that's the factory reset. So I'm going to press the factory reset. So there is the, my factory reset. Do you really want to delete all the settings and locations? Yes. And it will ask me again if I'm sure I want to do this. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so these are different uh, languages that I can choose from. So US English, it will, I, will, I will choose. Yes. 
Okay. Right-handed or left-handed? So I'm right-handed, but you could change it depending on if you are right-handed or left-handed. Now this GPS will, will be used in Europe, so I'm going to change it to kilometers because only in the United States we are using miles. All over the world they are using kilometers. So that's what I'm going to change it to kilometers. And the time, you could choose military time, which means after 12 uh, noon it changes to uh, 13, 14 and so on. Or you can choose the simple uh, PM, AM. Okay? The time, you don't have to worry about the time. You could set the time, uh, but it will automatically detect the time uh, from the GPS signal. Now, these are different voices. Not all GPSs are equipped with all these voices. Very few have this many voices. Usually, they have fewer voices. So, you could check each voice and choose the one you like. Uh, and there are more languages, like uh, it's Spanish, it's... Uh, French and we have uh, Canadian uh, uh, French this is European French like that and I guess that's it so three languages but multiple voices now whichever voice that has the computer logo on the right uh, that voice uh, the, the word computer on the right that voice will speak the street names and if there is no uh, computer word computer that's a human voice which has been previously recorded now the human voice which has been previously recorded will be much more clear however the human voice does not pronounce this, the roads for example if you're turning right on Broadway it will tell you turn right where the computer voice will tell you turn right on Broadway so that's why I like to choose the computer voice I'm going to choose that and I, this is how you test the voice You have reached your destination. Okay, so that's a little microphone I have there to catch the voice. At the end of the road, take the ferry. Okay, so... Turn around when possible. So these are the samples of the voice, okay? So I'm going to select that. Now, in this page, you could choose uh, the country. I'm going to choose Central Europe. This is where you choose the type of uh, uh, the type of uh, uh, map you want to display. For example, uh, different uh, color uh, types like darker color, brighter colors, and whatnot. This is the type of map you want to display at night. So you obviously want the night map to be darker, but I'm not going to change it to dark because of the tutorial. Uh, because you cannot see it. Would you like to set up your home location? Not now. Would you like a brief tour? Yes, you could take a brief tour. Actually, the brief tour itself is a very nice uh, help to teach you. So, normally this is the screen you're going to see. And this is where it tells you what to do next. This is the information about your trip. This is the area that detailed information is displayed. And this will tell you uh, what to do and when to do it. For example, it tells you to turn right in 90 meters. And uh, tap this area to hear the instructions again. This is zoom in and zoom out for the map. And that's self-explanatory. Tap the screen anywhere else to open the menu, for example, plan a route or whatever. Sure. This is the button that tells you where to go. Find an a, a alternative route. If, the, if there is construction and the road is blocked, then you choose this. This is if you want to add a place to your favorite list. For example, a friend's house, your house, or places that you often go to. Or if you're in a new country and uh, you have to put the airport in your favorites and the hotel where you're staying in the favorites so that you can find it again. This is where you change the preferences. 
turning sound on and off, brightness, day colors and night colors. There you go. Okay, so continue. Would you like? No, I don't like to. Uh, uh, it's asking you if you want to uh, get map correction updates. The problem with that is that you always have to connect this to your um, uh, computer. It's very inconvenient. I I do like to uh, have the map correction updates, but it's uh, it will bug you all the time. It will ask you. Uh, to plug it into the computer causes a lot of problems. So a lot of computers don't have the drivers for it. Some computers are Mac and this is not going to be updated unless you have a PC uh, or unless you download TomTom Tom Home for, for Apple and it's, it's just uh, a lot of problems. Okay, so let's see how to use it. Now, uh, using uh, this GPS uh, has multiple uh, options that you need to pay attention to and uh, do exactly what suits you the most. Uh, let's see. So we want to go somewhere. We click on the center and we click to navigate to. Now we have to choose the country. Let's say we are in Europe and we need to go somewhere in Europe. The first thing we need to do is choose which country. Let's choose Germany. Germany. Okay, now in Germany you have to enter an address. You have to enter an address. You could choose city center, you could choose street or house number, or you could choose intersection. You could also choose a zip code. So, these are the things you could do. It's pretty simple. So, street address. You go ahead and punch in the street address. Let's say if you're going to Berlin, in the city of Berlin you choose an address. Let's say I'm going to that address. And you, let's say you want to go anywhere there. Arrive at a particular time, no or yes, and it's going to calculate my route. Obviously, I'm going to cancel this route. Why? Because this GPS is currently in the United States, and there's no way it can give me calculation of the... Of you have reached your destination. Okay, so I'm going to cancel my route. Okay. Let's cancel the route. No routes planned. Okay, so I already did. Okay. Now, let's see other features and setups. Adding to favorites is a place, like I said earlier, you need to add your home, your, your uh, hotel where you're staying, and other attractions to your favorites. Um, the right arrow will take you to the next menu. Here, you could prepare a route. Here you can browse the map, here you could do map corrections, here you can change your itinerary planning. Uh, TomTom Tom services, you have to pay for it, it's not free, it's monthly service charge, you don't have to worry about that. And uh, change preferences. Now with TomTom Tom services you need to know what it is, like TomTom Tom traffic, fuel prices, camera and safety camera. Now I think this GPS it already has safety camera feature. Yeah, so there you go. The alerts are enabled and everything. So if there is a safety camera, Europe is infested with safety cameras. Uh, now, uh, this is pretty dec decent uh, feature to have because if it, if it saves you from one uh, basically red light ticket or speeding ticket, it pays for the GPS. Believe me, it's very expensive, especially in, uh, I, where was I? In Belgium. In Belgium? No, it wasn't Bel Belgium. No, Austria. In Austria, it was like three four hundred dollars okay so let's see all right so now let's change the preferences changing the preferences night colors you can choose how bright you want the night colors to be do you want it to switch to to dark uh, darker color when it's night no I don't want that to, to do that right now but already did, did it already so let me go to 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 day colors there you go day colors because the screen goes dark and then I cannot teach you all right so the other features change preferences is uh, show points of interest on the map you only want the important points of interest on the map and not too many uh, points of interest because that will create confusion for example uh, right now the gas sta the airports are being shown the gas stations all these that are checked are being shown now if you 
choose too many points of interest, the map will be so crowded that you cannot even see the roads. That's why, even though I would love to have all of them displayed on the map, but you don't have enough screen real estate to show all these points of interest and be able to see the, uh, the roads. See, for example, I'm going to show you right now. If I am looking uh, right here, if I zoom in, let me zoom in. Okay, so currently it appears like, let's browse the map. No, I don't want a tour. So, let's say if you're traveling in this road, and uh, there are a lot of, uh, uh, like, uh, coffee shops, and you have chosen uh, for, for the GPS to show you the coffee shops, then what happens is that there will be little pop-ups of coffee shops everywhere, and uh, it will cover the roads, and you will not be able to see everything very well. That's the reason... Um, let me cancel that route. Okay, I canceled the route. Okay, so that is the reason I don't like to have too many points of interest showing on the map because of that. All right, so now safety preferences uh, hide most menus options while driving. Uh, menu options, yeah, that's a good thing. Suggest driving brakes if you want, show uh, safety reminders. For example, what is a safety reminder? For example, if you're traveling in the countries where you have to tr drive on the left, it will warn you to uh, drive on the left so you don't drive on the right side of the road. See, this is the one I was telling you. So, uh, when in countries that drive on the left, this is where I want the GPS to warn the person, the driver, if you're in England uh, or uh, Australia or New Zealand, you need to drive to the left, on the left. Okay. Never turn off the map and whatnot. Okay. This is the uh, guided tours. You could take that and learn. This is the sound turn on and off. Uh, volume preferences. Change voice. You can change the voice to a different voice. Manage points of interest. Manage favorites. Change your home location. You can click here and change the address for the home location you have entered previously. And uh, the car symbol you can change. Currently it's an arrow, but you can change it to different types of car symbols. Whichever one you like the most. Okay. So, let's go back. And turn on two-dimensional display. Uh, right now it's a three-dimensional display. I like the three-dimensional display. It's much easier. And uh, show lane images if if possible. Uh, in some places it's possible, not always. With some with certain maps you can get the lane images. Uh, manage maps. This is important. This is what you press if you want to change it uh, to a different country. For example, right now it's set to Europe. If you want to change it to a different continent like United States, you have to Click here and choose the correct map. This is how you manage the map colors, different colors of the maps you choose from here. Okay, change the language again. You have another option. Now, remember, there are three things in the language. You have a keyboard language, you have a menu language, which is all these menus, and, and then you have a voice language. The differences are, voice language is the language that the GPS is speaking to you in that language. That's the voice language. The menu language or the languages in, in, in which all these uh, banners are written, status bar, quick menu, these are written in English currently. So that is the, uh, uh, basically the menu language or the language uh, of the text language. And keyboard language is the language with which you type in the address. For example, if you go to a country that are not using uh, Roman uh, uh, letters, uh, or, I mean, uh, if they're not using Latin uh, alphabet, and they're using uh, like Russian language, uh, which I believe is Cyrillic alphabet or something, or Chinese alphabet, whatever alphabet they're using, you need to have that keyboard in order to punch in the address. So in that case, you have to change the keyboard language to that language. Okay, This is your status bar, what you want 
to be shown on the status bar like time arrival time distance to your destination uh, current time elevation whatever you want to choose you can choose there and street names preferences how you want the street names to be punched in the planning preferences this is very important planning preferences is very important because uh, see uh, the, like what do you want to avoid you want the fastest route you want uh, every time that you're planning for it to ask you always plan the shortest route the shortest route may not be the fastest because it could have multiple traffic lights where the, sh the fastest could be through a freeway which is a little longer however you you will get there faster if it's a walking route or bicycle route if you choose bicycle route it will the GPS will never take you where bicycles are not allowed for example the GPS is not going to take you through a freeway or Autobahn if you're in Germany uh, always plan for limited speed for example if you're a newbie you just learn how to drive and you don't want the GPS the vehicle to go very fast then you want to choose a route that limits your speed okay so the toll roads you know the toll roads if you don't have uh, cash or credit card you want to avoid the toll roads okay ask me uh, if there are ferries now ferries are little ships or little boats that carry your car uh, they're not little they're decent sized boats that carry your car now if you have a big RV which doesn't fit in a ferry of course you want to avoid that HOV you know the meaning of HOV means high occupancy vehicle so this is same as carpool lanes do you want to avoid carpool lanes obviously if you're driving alone but if you're driving with a companion then you can leave it uh, yeah. Uh, off so it doesn't avoid uh, unpaved roads if your vehicle is a low rider and it cannot go to pay, uh, unpaved roads then you want to avoid it so these are the things that are I'm gonna let the default be on those so brightness set owner you can click here and set your name if you want to this is important units of measurement uh, which is metric for like kilometers and you know miles for um, American standard if you're left-handed this is where you change it keyboard preferences you change it here and set the clock battery preferences um, and factory reset and show the version and whatnot so basically we went through everything and these are the safety we went through that too yep we went through everything and in order to check the volume you click here you have reached your destination and then you can slide the volume bar to go to the desired volume and that's basically it but uh, and uh, there is nothing much to it uh, make sure to see the battery how much charge you have you click here and that's your battery to see the signal strength you click here it shows you the satellites currently we are indoors so there are no satellites and that's it okay so I hope this uh, video was something educational and you learned something from it uh, thank you for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe